This is Pop Dose Presents. I'm Brent Butler, and I'm here with Sophia Mesa. Hello. And Fred the dog, of course. Freddie, say hi. Hey, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sophia, you just performed for us a couple of songs, including your single that was just released today. 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 Money today. Don't Fix Lonely. Yes, out now. And the video. And the video, and the video yeah. is stunning. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit about the song and then about the video? The song I wrote when I was studying at Berkeley, um, and then I brought it to Ido, who produced and co-wrote it with me, and he made it into what it is today. And I love the production and everything about the song. And back it up a second. You said that you wrote it while at Berkeley, but I, the Berkeley, the, the School of Music. Yeah. I had read on the internet, so you know it's true, uh, <laughs> that you had attended for a couple of weeks and then dropped out because you the, the record deal and pursuing music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So during that couple of weeks, you wrote that song. It was called Save Me first. Did you go to class <laughs> even once? I went or? to orientation week. That's uh, the best week. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. My After mom that, it's me like... for both weeks. Shout nice. out, Mom. Shout um, mom. Love you. Um, and then I... I had a week of like classes and I took one quiz actually. Okay, so you took one quiz. Honestly, just go to Berkeley and take some classes, and, you know. Or go there for like a little while yeah. and drop out. No, it's fun. It's it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Glad we're going to get all that money from our sponsors <laughs> at Berkeley College where musicians are born. So, okay, so you told us a bit about the song. It's very cool. So everybody Thank right you. now I mean, don't exit out of this interview. Yeah, don't do that. But bring up Spotify no, maybe and look do that. for Money Don't Fix Lonely. But yeah. no spaces in between the words, people. Oh, yeah, people. no spaces. What was that? Was that just a stylistic choice? Yeah, it was a very long title, so I was like, um, should we... I was thinking, I wanted to make it maybe something, like a lyric from the song, but then every lyric I chose, I was like, that's horrible, like, that's just weird, like, doesn't really make sense because it's said, like, twice. And it obviously, the, like, the title should have been Money Don't Fix Only because that's the chorus, but I was debating because I didn't want it to just be very long, but then they were like, what if we just take away the spaces? And I was like, hmm, that actually looks really cool, so let's do that. It's hashtag grammar. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> and for people that may be not familiar with your music, how would you describe it? Who are some of your influences? Um, well, growing up, I listened to uh, Sia a lot. Uh, Lady Gaga, Amy Winehouse. So, okay, and would you describe your music as sort of a, a oh, right. combination of those influences, or would yeah. you put yourself in a genre? Dark pop? Sure. I th I, that's what a lot of people have been telling me, so that's just what I'm going to go with. Do you have an idea of what the next songs might be like? Do you have things that you also wrote while you were supposed to be in class? I have two other songs I know that are lined up after, like, that are supposed to come out next month and then the month after that. Ooh, okay. So stay tuned. Absolutely. You heard it here first. <laughs> so tell us a bit more about how you broke through with your music. How did they, how did you get discovered? Because there's so many people that are, you know, potentially in your position that look up to you. I know I read that you would like to be a role model for young women. Um, I don't know if that's true, but no, not at all. Not at all. No, nah. of course nope. not. But uh, <laughs> for those that might be wondering, well, how did she do it? You know, because I'm in, I'm in like the third semester of school and it's boring. <laughs> I got very lucky that um, one of my manager's friends knew uh, David Massey. Big fan of the show. Shout out to David. Love you, David, so much. He is the head of Arista Records. Um, and I found out I had a meeting with them. Um, you found out you had a meeting with them? Yeah, my manager called me and said, you have a meeting with oh, okay. Arista. And I said, awesome. Um, and then I l left Berkeley. Like, basically, at Berkeley, if you miss one class, your grade goes down. Like, if, if you're at an A, it goes to a B, even if you miss one class, which, Jesus. But uh, I left. My meeting, I think, it was on a Tuesday. I left Berkeley Monday. And then I signed the contract, and I didn't go back. <clears throat> but so. you're here in New York City, which is where you were born and raised, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, how do you feel about New York City? Do you think you'll be here for the long haul, or are you going to abandon us for L.A.? I, I'm who I am because of New York and growing up here. But 
LA is good for me in terms of recording. When I want to go and just like focus on music, it's good for me because I don't have a bunch of friends there, so I'm not as distracted. Um, but New York is where all my friends are, where my family is. Like, where, New York is my home. Well, that's awesome. We obviously here at Poptus being we're in Times <laughs> Square right now. Uh, is there a message that you hope people take from? this song and maybe other other songs that you have planned that we're not allowed to know about yet? I want to provoke emotion and then for whoever's hearing my music I want to touch people around the world with music and if they relate to it know that we're in this together oh my god but you're not about to be with me okay you're still oh, with me he's in, we're in it together <laughs> we're in this together right baby okay and I mean money don't fix lonely are you sure <clears throat> oh, oh my god. Pass. Because what are, what are we doing this all Pass. for? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I think it's a beautiful Pass. sentiment, like when the Beatles said, you know, money can't buy love. But no, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. You know what it does fix is like when you're hungry and you want to like order something <laughs> seamless at like 2 a.m. Money definitely yeah, helps that, fix that. That I agree with. No, I agree with that. And then maybe you make friends with the delivery guy and yeah. then, you know, you hang out. You know, you play some video games. You're not as lonely. You have a valid point. I'm not sure that I do. Please check out Sophia's new single that's out now, Money Don't Fix Lonely. And thank you, everybody. Please subscribe, like, share, everything else, and check out all of Sophia Mess's music and look out for the next stuff coming out and hopefully a tour and who knows. Yes. Awesome. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you.